they fit you a fine figure of a man to give you. <laughs> Do you use these machines ever? Uh, no, I don't use it. Are those pantyhose? Do they go all the way up? What's it to you, the pantyhose? I don't know. I was just wondering. <laughs> what are pantyhose? That's a very American Well, I mean, expression. I wondered if they go up to here or if they if actually... If they're stockings. If they're stockings, wondering if they're stockings, yeah. You'll never know the secret. Yeah. Musically, you haven't, we haven't heard from you for about four years. This is your first album, Blah yeah. Blah Blah, is the yeah. first one for four years. Blah, blah, blah. So, so what have you been doing is getting your life together? I got myself a SAG card to the Screen Actors Guild and uh, went, uh, went out, uh, hit the pavement in New York and went out auditioning as an actor and got turned down all the time. But it was, uh, it was, good, it was good fun and good, good practice at uh, just, just staying sharp, you know? I, I, I learned to type. Type. Uh, type, and I spent a, a lot of time just uh, writing my own versions of the news because I object to the official version. 59% of Americans prefer pizza when they eat out. I mean, that was, that was a news item in USA Today, you know, and I, I would read these things in the morning, and I'd think, no, this isn't the news. I'm going to write about my, my kind of news, which, which led, led me, uh, it led to a fluency and it, it, uh, a sort of a, a writing muscle, if you will, that, that I think has helped in my lyrics since then. Is it hard to keep in shape? Because, I mean, on stage you're so supple, you're like a snake. Is that hard to keep that way? It, it is if you, if you tour too much, and, and especially, especially alcohol, drugs, stuff like that can really screw you up. So what about that? I mean, you used to be sort of quite into all those vices. Have yeah. you stopped? <laughs> yeah, I have completely. Why did you stop? Well, one sees the handwriting on the wall, as it were, you know, and I thought, I, not for me. And I was curious, too. It got to the point, I, mean, I was just so curious, what would it be like to, like, wake up in the morning and just live through the day and go to sleep at night and then do it again day after day and not be under the influence of anything? And what would it be like to, like, write a song without going, right, time to write the song, uh, 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 and then, you know, you know, and I thought, what would that be like? What would come out? And I was feeling kind of out of touch with other people, really, you know, and it was like, you know, um, well, hello, I wear black, and, uh, you know, I put stuff in my hair, you wear black, and you put stuff in your hair, we must have a lot in common, let's go f you know what I mean? So, like, you know, what, I mean, so what, you know what I mean? You sound like a completely new man then. You like going to the grocery store. You've given up all your vices. Have you left all your bad days behind? Are you not wild anymore and wicked? I'm the same inside. It's just I've adopted this kind of hard outer coating, this kind of veneer, so that I can just sort of slog through society. But inside, I still feel the same. Like, I'm still like, <laughs> very, I'm very pent up, very, very heated. And, uh, you know, a lot of times tempted, tempted to kind of kick things, and I, I get upset a lot. You know, Would find you... a lot of things objectionable, but, but uh, I, you know, I've learned, I've learned to control myself when I have to. What sort of people really depress you then? I mean, do you find any sort Spoiled of... Spoiled riches. Really? Can't stand them. Are there lots of those in America? Or... There's lots of them everywhere, you know. I like them. At, at better hotels around the world, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> What about the, the album, Blah, Blah, Blah? You, I mean, are you happy with that? I mean, it's a, for starters, the first time you've been back with Bowie for a long time, he produced it. Yeah. I mean, is that something you wanted to do for a long time? How did it come about? He was, uh, he, he was impressed with some tapes I played him. I, I've been working with Steve Jones out in California, and it sounded good, and I knew it sounded good. And uh, he called me up uh, in New York in like November and said, hey, come, why don't you come over? I've got these demos I'll play. And I said, great, I'll bring my demos. And we were, we were playing demos. And he sort of listened and went, mm, I like that. And I uh, said, you know, we could, you know, we could do this in Switzerland. I could come in on it and write some stuff. We were, we were the roadies. We did everything. Yeah, we were. We lifted all the stuff. We didn't use anybody to kind of drive us around. Or none of that. That was all right out. You know? David Bowie was a roadie as well. The, the both they? of us. Yeah, yeah, the, the both of us. It also, it helped having, uh, having producers who, uh, who were both experienced at getting things on the radio. And yes, yes, I want my stuff on the radio. Yes. I deserve it, and I want it, and I'm going to get it. 